local utility companies and their work with the county. We also talked about accessibility, about broadband and other state initiatives for rural underserved communities. Later that afternoon, I attended my monthly law library commission where we approved our financial statements, received patron interaction data, which is actually an increase in client services over the past few months, and a potential collaboration with Central California Legal Services. We also approved an exhibition agreement with the Tulare County Museum for historical images to be placed inside the public law library. Today, I toured the renovated Tulare County Public Library in Dinuba. Uh, thanks, thank you, Brooke, for that. Um, and toured that with the team as they get ready for furniture and shelving to be uh, in, placed inside. So it looks great and excited for its upcoming opening in the new in the year. Um, tonight, I will be a, uh, attending the Seroptimus Ruby Awards, if time permits, um, and this week is busy too. So tomorrow I will be at the grand opening of Superior Grocers in Dinuba. I have a Northern Tulare County Regional Water District Consolidation meeting with the State Water Board member Laurel Firestone and a Tulare County Forest Health Task Force meeting. I'd also like to share that I was selected to serve as the Vice Chair for the Administration of Justice Committee for CSAC, and I will be meeting with the Chair and the other Vice Chair, along with CSAC staff, to go over CSAC priorities in this area. And then I will be attending the National Association of Counties in Washington, D.C., with Supervisor uh, Townsend this week and next. Uh, this year, I serve on the Human Services and Education Policy Steering Committee. So some areas of focus for this committee include streamlining SNAP, children's services, foster care, guardianship, and adoption assistance, and then services to older Americans, among other areas of focus. And so I'm looking forward to this meeting and our meeting scheduled with federal partners and legislators this and next week as well. And that is all I have, Chair. Thank you. Supervisor Townsend. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, on the 31st, I did have a call with the Rural County Representatives of California. It was uh, the first time our ad hoc on studying the Williamson Act or the Williamson Act 2.0 that they're calling it. First time we had met, so we did put a little strategy together to uh, discuss that. And I did get a little input from staff before going into that meeting. Um, so I, I think it was a good meeting, and, and we'll have um, uh, we'll have some interesting times uh, as we as we study proposed legislation. Um, and then on Thursday, I had a call with uh, the new government uh, affairs liaison, uh, uh, Heather Irwell Murrow from the CPUC. That was also um, a good meeting talking about the various uh, utilities in the area and how uh, sort of report card and how they're doing, how their partnership with us is. And also I had a couple of issues that I wanted to raise regarding a couple of, uh, a couple of private utilities. Uh, and then we also on that Thursday had my uh, first uh, Eastern Thule Groundwater Sustainability Agency meeting as the chair of that uh, particular board. Uh, th this week, tomorrow, uh, I'll be on a call for the Tulare County Forest Health Task Force on a team's meeting. And then uh, after that, I will go to Harmony Magnet Academy. I'm on their advisory board for the uh, 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 engineering path. And then on uh, Thursday, I'm going to participate in the drive through dinner uh, night with the Farm Bureau got the ticket for that. That was excellent last year, and I'm sure it's going to be great again this year. Um, and then as uh, Supervisor Valero mentioned, uh, I'll also be at the uh, National Association of Counties uh, Legislative uh, Conference, and I'm the Vice Chair of the Public Land Steering Committee for Land Management, and so we have quite a few items on the agenda for that, and then we have a, a few meetings that are also uh, set up on Capitol Hill. Uh, then uh, next week, uh, the farm show, be, uh, attending the breakfast on the 15th. And on the 16th, there's the uh, annual uh, Farm Worker Appreciation Day in Porterville. And I will also be speaking um, at that event, giving a welcome to the farm workers that will be in attendance as sort of a, a resource fair. Uh, since we have no meeting on the 13th or the 20th, uh, I'll mention that on the 20th, um, uh, Harmony Magnet Academy, again, as a, as a member of the uh, advisory board, I'll be doing student interviews. Uh, that's been, I've been doing that for probably 11 or 12 years now, and uh, some great uh, up-and-coming uh, students out there, some that I'm a partner with one of them now, so that's how, how good the, uh, uh, the program is. Um, and on the 21st, I have a briefing call with uh, Sierra Nevada Conservancy regarding uh, 18 projects that we need to be reviewing as, as I'm now the seated uh, board member for that group for the Southwest sub-region. 
Um, and then also on the 21st, I'll be speaking to the Garden Club in Porterville, giving some Tillery County updates. Uh, the 22nd, I'll be discussing with Sierra Nevada Conservancy those 18 projects I mentioned. And then later on uh, that day, go, uh, go over to uh, uh, Mooney's Grove for the ribbon cutting at the, at the uh, museum. And on the 23rd, I'm going to be at Porterville Military Academy. I'm going to be speaking to uh, three classes back to back that day. And that's all I have to report. Thank you. Well, thank you. Supervisor Shuckling. No, thank you, Mr. Chair. A um, couple of highlights uh, from last week. I attended along with Chair uh, Macari the 4-H Awards, and, and that's always a nice thing to see the, the youth in Tulare County with their projects and, and doing good things. Also, on Friday, um, I attended a check presentation by Senator Hurtado, a $500,000 check that she presented to assist with our homeless efforts in Tulare County. And uh, that was presentation was held at CSET, so thank you again, Senator Hurtado, for that. Um, tonight, I also will be leaving here and heading to um, Visalia for the Seroptimus Ruby Awards. And then tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving for Monterey for the um, California Council of Governments uh, conference there tomorrow through Friday. I'm glad the storm is over there, I think. I don't know. Chief? You don't care about Monterey. You're here. You're here. All right. It's all right. Um, next week, uh, Tuesday morning, I'll be attending the opening ceremonies for the World Ag Expo. And then that evening, I will be attending the Voices at 210, which is a, a community group that does um, forums on different topics and this particular one. And thank you to uh, Dr. Natalie Bolin, who's going to be on that panel. Uh, they're going to be discussing Proposition 1. And um, we don't meet next week or the following week, but on the 22nd, I will be um, at the museum uh, ribbon cutting. And then on the 24th, the Ruth Woods Hospice, Cahuilla Delta Ruth Woods Hospice Moonshine Soiree. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Supervisor Vanderpool. Be careful at that Moonshine Soiree. Like when I used to visit you in jail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. A few items I wanted to uh, go over uh, uh, this week. Uh, yesterday, I was at the uh, Tulare Chamber of Commerce Governmental Affairs Committee meeting where Adventist Health uh, presented about the status of their hospital in uh, the city of Tulare. Uh, in the last five years, they have uh, expended more than $112 million uh, in that uh, hospital. Um, it's a significant investment. Uh, those can be operating losses. Those are also investments in infrastructure in the hospital. Um, and, and so really the message, the take home message is we are here to stay. We are here to serve Tulare. We are a nonprofit institution uh, and we want to be a community partner and a community collaborator. And we want uh, everyone to trust in what we offer here. And so I thought it was a great presentation. Uh, and hopefully their uh, message will be well received. Um, tomorrow I have a Tulare County Employees Retirement Association board meeting at 8.30. Um, on Thursday I have a meeting of the Tulare Kings Master Plan for the Aging. Uh, that's a Zoom meeting to go over our plan. Uh, also I have a meeting with the Health and Human Service, in Service Agency Directors on Thursday. Uh, later that morning I will also be touring the Joaquina School uh, with the superintendent spending some time talking about how we can uh, continue to help and collaborate, partner with them as they invest in their infrastructure on the campus. Uh, the Farm Bureau uh, will be having their date night uh, scholarship uh, fundraising program uh, on that evening. Uh, Friday morning, the 9th of February, we have the first five technical advisory committee meeting that starts at 9 uh, but so does the San Joaquin Valley Insurance Authority meeting in Fresno at 9 o'clock, uh, which I will be attending as well. Um, Happy Trails, a, a wonderful uh, institution and nonprofit uh, in Tulare, is having a showcase of their equine services for heroes, their veterans program, uh, on Saturday uh, from 10 till 12. I uh, wish them a lot of luck, and I think it's great they're showcasing their various programs because those really are resources in our communities. They, ha they not only provide services to youth, but also to veterans, and we know that that uh, uh, equine-assisted therapy uh, does magic for those populations. Um, 
On Monday, I have a meeting of the Greater Cahuilla Groundwater Sustainability Agency. Uh, that's in Farmersville. Um, and then uh, from the 13th through the 15th is the World Ag Expo in Tulare. Um, take my word for it. Um, you will definitely know it's that time of the year just when you drive on the Tulare County roadways. Um, it gets very busy during the farm show. We will have over 100,000 people uh, visiting the grounds during that three-day period. Uh, it's a fantastic event and showcases all the innovation, all the offerings in agriculture uh, from throughout the world. And it truly is a world agricultural exposition. Uh, folks coming in from, I, I think they uh, say well over 25 countries throughout the world uh, to come and see what agriculture is doing here in uh, not only Tulare County, but in the United States. So look forward to a great exposition. That's all I've got, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Supervisor Vanderpool. It's been another busy week. Uh, I've had a lot of meetings with constituents this week. Uh, I also attended the Tulare County 4-H Awards. Absolutely fantastic to see the youth and, and the achievements they've made, and they're working on and working towards an agricultural uh, uh, career. And uh, the, the support they have is amazing. That's an excellent program. Um, <clears throat> I attended the Tri County Walnut Day. That's a series of growers that comes in. It's through the UC uh, Cooperative Extension, and it's a training they have, and they get some some uh, credits for attending that. And I was able to give the opening comments to the uh, the growers there. I've had a meeting with some department heads. I met with uh, our Health and Human Services and met with our district attorney's office, Tim Ward. On Friday, I was invited to uh, by Congressman Costa to attend a breakfast in Fresno. The uh, CEO, Teresa Gonzalez, of the Azores Airlines was there, and there was actually some discussion about the possibility of bringing the, the – uh, airlines there to fresno so i know they were doing a tour after we were there and uh so that was a nice uh, event and we got to meet with them and work with them later on friday afternoon i was at the woodville farm labor center they had a they have a small library and it's in uh in honor of the portable firefighters jones and figaro who lost their lives at the at the portable fire and it's a little tiny small little uh box and they, you take a book you leave a book and it's a it's pretty successful. They have about 40 of them out there uh, that are spread around. And uh, we had a great turnout from the Woodville Farm Labor Center community. And uh, everyone was seemed to, uh, very excited about it. And I also attended this uh, check presentation for Senator Hurtado. I uh, was invited to that, where she gave us $500,000 for the homelessness funding. And uh, we want, I'd like to thank the senator for her contribution again to our, our area and, and our county. Saturday evening was the Lindsay Chamber Awards. Uh, dinner and uh, it was a great event, a lot of great awards, and I just want to send congratulations to all the award award recipients. And uh, this week, yesterday, I, I had a Veterans Advisory Committee meeting, so it's just another busy week, and uh, we'll continue with it as it goes on. So now, the next level is pub uh, item is public comments. Members of the public may comment on any item not appearing on the agenda. Under state law, matters presented under this item cannot be discussed or acted upon by the board at this time. For items appearing on the agenda, the public is invited to make comments when the item comes up for board consideration. Any person addressing the board will be limited to a maximum of three minutes so that all interested parties have an opportunity to speak with a total of 15 minutes allotted for the public comment period. At all times, please use the microphone and state your name for the record. Madam Clerk, do we have any public comments? I have no pay, uh, public comment cards. No. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to give public comments? Chief? Is that the three-minute shocker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I wonder if there's a weight limit on it. Uh, good evening, the Vice Chair, Chair, Board Members, CAO, County Council. Um, just a couple of things. Uh, this afternoon, we put truck one in service at station one. 105-foot um, aerial apparatus, brand new. Um, it's one of the first that we put in service from our lease purchase. Um, it's so great to get new stuff. And it's uh, with the apparatus purchase, we have 11 apparatus for $8.2 million. It sounds uh, pretty ominous, but that same price today, if we ordered it today, would be 30% wow. more. So... Kudos to Jason and the board for uh, 
biting the bullet and getting that low interest rate and getting us in there. Um, because down the road for the next fire chief, they're going to be much, much more expensive. So on that same vein, uh, Terrabella Fire Station remodel is complete. We're waiting on furniture. That will also be the second station where we house Truck 21, which will be in service by then. A the big thank you to Brooke for facilitating all of that, and thank you for your support on this. Um, Everything else is flood related and it's uh, so far so good. But I just want to thank you. Uh, these apparatus are so needed and, you know, being the fireman that I am, they are so cool. So <laughs> please uh, feel free to stop by station one and uh, we will get them all to the board when we get one of each to come and present to the Great. board. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Is there any other public comments? Okay, seeing none, we will move on to our consent calendar, which is items 3 through 23. Is there any items that anyone requests to be pulled or any of the board members? Mr. Chair, if there's no item to be pulled or corrected by any of the board members or members of the public, I would move for approval of the consent calendar as presented. Second. Okay, we have a motion uh, by Supervisor Vanderpool and a second by Supervisor Valero. Please cast your votes. I'll go ahead and Supervisor Macari. Aye. Supervisor Vanderpool? Aye. Supervisor Shucklian? Aye. Supervisor Valero? Aye. Supervisor Townsend? Aye. Motion passes 5 0. And that takes us to our next item, which is 24 board matter requests. Board members may make a referral to staff to have the matter of business be considered for a future agenda. Are there any items that any board members would like brought up for future discussion? Mr. Chair, I will just highlight one item. It's actually not a, a new request. It's already uh, pending with the clerk, but I'm excited to say that uh, after one year of having a vacancy on the uh, Tulare County Employees Retirement Association uh, for our public member, who, which represents the financial advising industry um, in the county, we actually have a qualified applicant who has been uh, recommended for appointment and will be on our next Board of Supervisors agenda. I'm just excited to fill that slot for the uh, Tessera board and bring in some real financial expertise. Uh, I think that's always helpful to have uh, as we advise uh, the public pension plan that we oversee. That's all I've got. All right. Thank you. Well, seeing, hearing none, then uh, this meeting's closed. <laughs>